it's big, it's bad, and it's flying. It's <laughs> called the Howler. And not just a flying creature, but a dangerous flying creature. And let me tell you something, it's something else when you're hiding inside of a building and you can't see the threat. It can go even where other creatures can't go. So the Howler is going to be heard from all over the map. Jumping on a crate helps you, for example, against striders. Then the Howler will just say like, oh yeah, that's a nice crate, so why should I care? I can fly. <laughs> My name is Saskia and I'm senior animator at Yaga and today we will be talking about the Howler. Though I think I should not do this alone. Let me holler at somebody. Hey! Hey, what's up? Hey! Uh, hi, my name is Mando, but the community knows me as Rumble. I'm game designer in the activities team on the Cycle Frontier. And I'm very happy to be here and to be talking to you about the Howler today. The best way to explain the Howler is actually to explain the other creatures first. So let me start with the ticks. Small insects run towards you, explode. Really annoying. They have a lot of life issues. <laughs> Super annoying. The next creature is the strider. Also run at you, but they bite. They don't explode, so they stay. You have to take care of them. The next one in the tiny squad is the rattler, my favorite four-legged spider gremlin, how I like to call it. It spits at you from afar take care while you're fighting striders and ticks in the same time. And then it runs away, which is the worst part. Very rude. Marauder, arrogant piece of shit. <laughs> Out of range, it's slow, also spits at you, does not run away. Uh, when you're close enough, it explodes into a wrecking ball and grunts at you, claws blazing. Take care. The next creature is our boss creature, the Crusher. It is what the Marauder thinks it is, like big, tanky, comes at you with really powerful attacks and very territorial. So in comparison, when it comes to the Howler, it fits somewhere between Crusher and Marauder in difficulty. And the difference is it's up there. So you have to stay aware of your surroundings while this creature screams at you and flies around and that can be tricky. So you might be wondering what exactly will the Howler be doing on Fortuna? How will it behave? What is the Howler? In addition to, as Saskia mentioned, it being the first actually flying creature that we're adding, the Howler will also be our first roaming creature, which means that it will just move around the map on its own from point of interest to point of interest. It will have different nesting locations. It has its own logic for senses as well. It's mostly blind but will have special scan abilities that will allow it to detect players even when they're trying to be very sneaky. So that's going to make things very interesting and I think the coolest thing about the Howler is that it will just interfere with what you're doing on the planet. Like you might be mining, literally mining your own business in the forest <laughs> um, and uh, the Howler doesn't care. The Howler will come for you. So in the realm of attacks, what does the Howler have? So it has attacks. I know, big surprise and it shoots at you, it has proximity explosions, so you have to watch your step. And it also does a lot with its voice, where it tries to disorient you, or maybe even if you're not in combat, it tries to echolocate you. And if you are in combat and get the health really low, second phase, it will get really pissed nice. off. A little two-phase boss fight for you there, that's pretty cool. So why the Howler? The Howler, as we've mentioned before, is our first flying creature. It's also our first roaming creature, which means that it will do wonders for the cool stories that can happen on Fortuna, the kind of, you know, very intimate or personal experiences you can have. And it will just make the planet a lot more unpredictable. You have multiple ways of getting your hands on Howler loot, right? You can loot the nests, you can fight the Howler. The Howler has special behaviors that will allow you to get your hands on loot from the Howler without actually killing it. We want to make sure that new players can still have the normal cycle experience on Fortuna. So we made sure to design the Howler in a way that is at the same time not too difficult to avoid, but even once you are in a fight, it's not too difficult to disengage either. So don't worry about being chased to the end of the earth. That's not what it's going to be like, unless you're asking for it. In some of these locations, you might now find nests, Howler nests, which are big, very alien looking, strange structures. And at the bottom of these structures, you will find Howler eggs, which is a sort of new environmental hazard we're adding to the world of Fortuna. And as part of the campaigns, you will also get to and have to venture into these areas and have to deal with the nests. 
The Howler will be coming with the start of season three on the 29th of March. And next week, tune in for some technical updates we're doing to the Cycle Frontier. Yeah. So make sure to log in for season three. The Howler will come for you.